office of Lila's mind. The stage is dark. We hear the buzz of static as a voice rings clear through the PR system. Good morning, everyone. It's time to get moving. Lila's body is awake, so too must be her mind. It's a beautiful day here in Lila's brain. Everything seems relatively clear, and it's time to get to work. The lights come up on a desk with a computer monitor on it. Adulthood sits behind the desk, watching the monitor and taking notes on a clipboard. Childhood sits on the desk, swinging her legs in front of her. All right, then. Now that Lila is dressed, we simply have to decide how to wear our hair. I was thinking pigtails. Oh, dear. I'm sorry, you've misunderstood again. Our options are sleek ponytail or messy bun. Oh, uh, messy bun, I guess. Now, where is that chart? Childhood produces a clipboard and hands it to adulthood. Thank you. Adulthood makes a note on the clipboard. Maybe we could wear our cat ear headband? <laughs> you shouldn't make such jokes. Don't forget, you're in charge of Halloween. Lila has already promised Molly they'd spend the evening together. Trick or treating? I'd hope not. How come we never do what I want anymore? Because Lila is a teenager now. Your suggestions just don't fit her image. Childhood jumps down from the desk, beginning to leave the room. Where are you going? Out. Out? But what about work? Work is boring. Besides, there's loads of time to do work later. Childhood walks off stage before adulthood can stop her. Wait! Come back! Well, don't forget about Molly. Adulthood returns to her work. It's a wonder we get anything done. Lights down. In the break room, Childhood sits at a table, coloring and drinking juice. Adulthood enters. Ah, I thought I'd find you here. Lila has gone to sleep. The day went very smoothly, even in your absence. That's good. I'm drawing Lila dressed as a fairy princess for Halloween. Lila got an A on her science quiz today. Childhood sips her juice. If we can keep up with grades like that, we can get into any post-secondary school we want to. Childhood continues coloring. Hello? Frontal lobe to childhood? Are you listening to me? Yep. Oh. Well, did you hear what I said? Yep. But you're not excited. Nope. Why not? Childhood puts her crayon down. Because it's not that exciting. What? Would you like some juice? What? No. Of course I don't want juice. I want to know what's wrong with you. I'm sorry. Shouldn't have said that. You sure you don't want juice? You seem upset. Juice makes me happy when I'm upset. Suit yourself. See you tomorrow. This is for you. Childhood slides her coloring sheet across the table. The lights go down as she exits. In the main control room of Lila's brain, adulthood is behind her desk. Childhood enters, skipping stage right. Good morning, adulthood. Did you sleep good? You're in a pleasant mood today. I found my favorite dress under the bed this morning. That's your favorite dress? This? No, silly, of course not. This one doesn't have nearly enough sparkles. Ah, well. Moving on, we have a very big day today. Lila is going out to meet with some new friends we met yesterday. We have to make sure we do and say everything right so that they'll think we're cool. I've already picked our outfit so that Lila looks three years older than she is. Oh, okay. Ah, here they come. Remember, act normal and try not to say anything weird or anything at all. Adulthood stares at the monitor screen in front of her. What's happening? Everyone's introducing themselves. It's going rather well. Come look. Look! That girl's umbrella has cute ducks on it. I love it so much. I wonder where she got it. Shush! Oh no. Now Lila's saying that out loud. Oops. No. What? What happened? The girl laughed. It's her little brother's umbrella. I'd like to meet her little brother then. Wait. No. Shh. Did Lila say that out loud too? Yep. Fiddlesticks. Just don't say anything else. I... Ah, uh, no more words. In fact, 
Adulthood pulls a strip of cloth out of the desk drawer. Turn around. Childhood turns and adulthood ties the strip of cloth over her mouth. There. Just for the rest of the day. Of the day. Is it too tight? Perfect. Childhood sits and the lights go down. In the main control room of Lila's mind, Adulthood sits alone behind the desk, organizing papers and keeping an eye on the monitor. All right, Lila. May not have been the best day, but it's almost over. We can rest soon. <sighs> Halloween has always seemed like an awful waste of time. Oh. We'll never get to sleep if you start crying. Don't worry. It's not your fault Molly ran out on us this evening. Can you believe she thought we would want to dress up? She's so childish. And we, well, we, it seems our lives don't align anymore. Same way our plans for the evening didn't align. Okay, we need to focus. Reminders for tomorrow. Fill out job application, study for English test, look into keto diet, and shopping with Ella in the evening. See? Not thinking about it works. Oh dear. Now you're thinking about it again. No. No, no. Don't cry. It's all right. Why not try Mr. Snuggles? He's so soft and comforting and bratty and old. <laughs> no, wait. Uh, I didn't mean that. Um, think about rainbows? Yes, rainbows and kittens. Kittens, snow angels, warm sheets, uh, pad thai, label makers, alphabetizing the pantry. The color coding your closet. I'm sorry, Lila. Good night. What a day this has been. Where did I put that chart? She gives up searching and switches off the monitor. She stands and straightens the desk chair. When did this get so confusing? I don't remember Lila being so complicated, at least not when childhood was around. Oh dear me. Childhood? Adulthood quickly walks off stage. In the childhood's bedroom, childhood sits on a small bed, playing silently with a doll. The strip of fabric is still on her mouth. Adulthood enters. Childhood? Hey, you haven't come to work in days, weeks. Maybe it was months. Hmm. Well, I suddenly realized it was quiet and had to come find you. What's going on? Adulthood notices the cloth over her mouth. Oh. Have you been wearing this all, all, all this time? Here, let me get it. Adulthood removes the fabric and drops it on the bed. Childhood remains still. I was surprised when you didn't show up to work. You usually have so many ideas. Not that you ever want to hear them. I apologize. Something wrong? You remember that I used to work alone. I'm not sure. I made all the choices. Lila and I had a ton of fun. We wore what we wanted, said what we wanted, ate what we wanted. We didn't think about it. We just did stuff. But then you showed up. Suddenly I had to ask you before doing anything. We started planning things, making lists, being cool. I guess I don't really mind. I just get sad sometimes, thinking about the other times you know, before you came to work. Oh, I see. Why can't it be like that again? I, well, Lila's older now. Decisions have to be made that are good for everyone involved. But why do you get to make all those decisions? Decisions? Yeah, that. Even just now, you didn't knock. You just came into my room. Are you angry? I guess, a little. Well, sorry for not knocking. But as for everything else, I will say it again. Lila is older now. There are certain things that have to change. Older means she can't have any fun? What? Of course not. She can have fun, just different fun. Fun the way everyone else her age has fun. But. Doesn't everyone keep telling us to be yon weak? Unique. Yeah, that. Well, yes, but... But we should be unique the way everyone else is unique? Exactly. Do you realize that makes no sense? What? I... Why do you even care? Just all of a sudden? 
You've never talked about this before? I'm dying. <laughs> Good one. I'm not making jokes. Of course you are. You're always making jokes. Besides, you can't be. You're not. Hey, kids can be serious too. And I really am dying. Soon, I'll disappear. Never seen again. Gone forever. Poof. What? You heard. I would spell it out, but I don't know how to spell. I'm fading away. Soon I'll be gone, and it'll be you making all the decisions just like you want. No. No, 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 no. That's not what I want. That's not what I want at all. I need you. It took you forever to even notice I was missing. But I've noticed now. Things are strange without you. Lila's friends don't always like me. I don't understand how I would do this alone. I really need you. Then why do you never listen to me? I'm... I'm sorry. I'll listen to you from now on. We can do whatever you want until you... Until you... You... Die? Yeah, that. I'm so sorry. I got carried away. I forgot how important you are. But from now on, I will listen to you. We can do things your way. We can compromise. I'll never let you die. It doesn't work like that. We had a chance, and we missed it. I don't want to sit in a box at the back of Lila's head forever and not be able to talk or move. I think I need to go. Let me make it up to you, then? I'm begging you, don't go yet. My time's already up. Childhood begins to exit. Wait! Just a second, please. What, um, what if Lila wants to wear pigtails to school tomorrow? That would be fun. It's up to you now. Childhood pulls a juice box out of the pocket of her dress. Juice makes me happy when I'm upset. Adulthood takes the juice and gives Childhood a hug. Do good, okay? Make Lila happy. I will. Childhood continues to walk off. I'm sorry. Childhood exits, but her voice is still heard. I know. The lights fade as the final line is spoken and adulthood is left dumbfounded and completely alone in childhood's small bedroom with the juice box in hand. Thank you.